Okay, got that loaded. All right, to make up for one of the videos that got copyright blocked worldwide on YouTube, I decided to uh, do this uh, video instead. And this is Leo Reacts to Curse Commercials number 13 by Chatronic. Chad, I hope you're doing well, man. Seriously, I think we were friends at one point. But if we haven't, then, you know, if we were, then I'm like, hey, nice to meet you, man. And nice, nice to see you again after all this time. But yeah, I'm gonna give my honest opinion, and I'm gonna react to this video and everything. There are tons of commercials that have uh, been displayed all over the world, especially on TV. I I should know because I'm a TV baby. I spend most of my life in front of the TV, and I've seen some pretty crazy commercials. But yeah, I'm gonna watch this video and I'm gonna react to it. If you guys liked what you saw, please leave a like, leave a comment, and click on the subscribe button to be notified whenever I no upload new videos. And tickle the bell button, okay? Curse Commercials belongs to Chatronic, and the various media belongs to all their respectful copyright, uh, copyright owners. I make no money off of doing this. I'm just gonna... And uh, I hope this video doesn't get blocked uh, worldwide. Chad, you keep doing what you're doing, man. Seriously, you rock. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get into it, shall we? Hey guys, check this out. I recently stumbled upon this, an old spell book. I know things haven't been going very well lately, so I thought I would try to read like a good luck spell or something from this book. I mean, it's only episode number 13 of Cursed Commercials. Mm. I can't think of a episode number better than 13 than to try and read a good luck spell. Transfiguration, uh, curses, good luck spells. I wouldn't do it. This text is so small. It is so hard to read. It is very easy to lose your place while reading this. The winds of change I feel tonight the ocean stirs, full moon in sight. Bad luck and trouble is what's ahead. This was a curse you should not have read. Oh. It's like a good luck spell. No, it's not. It's not a good oh. luck spell. I read the wrong one. Uh. Now you're going to fall under a curse. And now... Ah. Bet you just hate when that happens. You're trying to read a good luck spell from a book you found, and it turns out to be a curse book. And now. Well, I've misdialed someone's phone number before, but I've never misread a spell before now you're this in a pretty cool looking chair oh looks like this place has cable tv so is everybody using duracell batteries i've seen that one before wait a minute uh, it's all just commercials where are the shows head on apply directly to the forehead wait is all commercials Always has been. Who said that? For it is I, Raps the Mummy. I have been in this castle watching curse commercials for over 5,000 years. Uh, <laughs> 5,000 years? I'm pretty sure cable television has only been around for like 70 years. 5,000 years I have suffered and watched nothing but curse commercials. Okay. 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 All right. How do we get out of here? We don't. We're cursed. We're cursed. Yes. Very cursed. Excuse me. Okay, whatever. Are those like actual mummy wrappings on you? Or is that like toilet paper or something? Make fun of my appearance. And I shall change yours. Uh. How did you do that? don't know how I did that. Uh, you do look much nicer, though. Hmm. So 
whose things for Chad weren't going well. He thought he'd read a good luck spell. But he misread and then he fell under a curse. Transported to a creepy castle. Forced to watch cursed commercials till the end of time. Now they may be cursed, but they're not the worst. They're often kind of funny. They watch them first and then converse with help from. Help from Raps the Mummy. And how. Curse commercials, and how appropriate it is that I'm watching it close to Halloween. It's the right time, so. Also, that song goes hard. Hello and welcome, my misfortunate friends, to yet another episode of Cursed Commercials. Mm hmm. This is the show. We watch and rate out of 10 how cursed each commercial is that we watch. Mm -hmm. I am your host, Chad Tronic, here with my co host, Raps the Mummy. Curse that I was your co host. <laughs> I didn't agree to this. Well, I just think <laughs> because you're the only other person here that you would be my co host. I'm not even going to watch the commercials. Why would I be your co host? You're not going to watch the commercials with us? I told you, I'm over 5,000 years old. I've seen all the commercials. That doesn't yeah. even make any sense. They make new commercials. They make new commercials every day. Uh, I got a... I got an appointment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got a... I got a... Uh, I got to go. Right. I don't know. Get ready, Eddie, Eddie. Oh, this commercial. Pause, 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 pause. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This commercial. SpongeBob, SquarePants, Burger King. I remember seeing this commercial a long time ago, and yeah, it's cursed, because I'm like, hmm. Look like Minecraft. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. That SpongeBob SquarePants dinnerware made that kid into Minecraft Steve. That's Ooh. pretty cursed right there. Yeah. Even the dog is. Gary? You'll want to use the most nautically nonsensical plates, cups, and napkins all the time. Look for SpongeBob SquarePants stuff where you shop for party supplies. Oh. SpongeBob party supplies, uh, like cups, and whatnot. Trend yeah. Cursed commercials Sorry. People with it's not Burger King. CGI cube heads. Why does that seem to be a running trend? Minecraft Steve Bob SquarePants gets a 7 out of 10. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm the crazy chicken! This chicken eats everything! Oh, God, crazy chicken. I remember the commercial for this one, too. The game about picking out the various objects from the chicken's stomach. And if you pick out his guts, ugh, three times, I think, you lose. So, ugh. People come up with the most weirdest board games or games ever in this world. No matter what it is, it can't stop eating. Help the crazy chicken by removing from his stomach all the crazy things he's eaten. Pass the crazy chicken, and each player takes a turn to remove one object he ate. But be careful! Don't take out his guts. Whoever removes the third gut is out of the game. <laughs> What insane asylum are they coming up with these, like, group playtime kids' toys? What's the thing kids have always wanted to do? I know, stick their hand down a chicken's throat and grab things. What kind of lessons are we teaching today's children? Mom and dad are visiting the local farm with their child, and their child sees a chicken and go, Hey, Mom, can we stick our hands down the chicken's throat just like we do at home? <laughs> Crazy chicken game gets a five. Yeah. I miss the old days of certain games and whatnot. Seriously, Shark Attack, Hungry Hungry Hippos, Don't Wake Daddy, uh, the game about the bed bugs, just, uh. I preferred those games and everything like that because those ones had purpose and whatnot. This is just. I don't even know what that is. You already know where it is. 
Kia of Bradley. Watch me drive. Watch me save, save. Watch me drive, drive. Watch me save, save. How many dealerships cashed in on the Nene thing? Seriously. Yeah. And by cash How many people in, I mean, cashed like, in on the Nene thing? Because this didn't get anyone to buy a car whatsoever. If anything, seeing this commercial would make me scared of going to my local dealership. Do all the yeah. cars that you can get there come with hydraulics? Is that what this is advertising? That's a five. Yeah. Mm -mm. Subway. Oh, this is Airheads! Wanna play? Bumperheads here? Why not? Come on. <laughs> yeah. This is <laughs> this is very cursed. Good thing yeah. there's no one else on this subway to to see this. It's Someone very cursed. I don't understand the bumper heads thing. Seriously, I understand that. Uh, I understand that they changed airheads from uh, the little taffy uh, pieces to uh, the full-on circular pieces that look like skittles or. Reese's pieces or whatnot and everything like that, but the commercials got really weird. I mean, seriously, why change the way how the commercials are and everything like that to fit the demographics, I guess? Because uh, some of the commercials were just slice of life uh, advertising the candies and whatnot, but this, I don't even know what this is. I just, I don't understand airheads. I still love the candy, but I don't understand it. Continuing. Play more. Play delicious. Aw, I wanted to see Grandma Airhead. That's <gasps> pretty cursed. That's like an eight. Yeah. You want some fly mm -hmm. boy? Oh, I was looking for something crispy, actually. I am all crispy, and I'm creamy inside. I've got chocolate. Oh. You can lick my nipples. Bite me, bite me, bite me, bite me, bite me, bite me. Bite me. <laughs> now, only if this could happen in real life. If products could talk to you while shopping in the store and try to convince you to buy them by telling you explicit things that you can... Ah, uh, I've never seen that commercial before on TV, but that's just a, a continuing due to them. Bueno, soft and creamy, bueno, crispy and light. I'll be whatever you want me to be. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's pretty cursed. That's. Yeah, I've never tried one of the Brano bars before, but you see them in various stores and whatnot, especially Walmart. It's basically a Nestle Trix with a uh, Nestle Trix bar with uh, filling. I might try one one day, but this doesn't make me want to get it. This just makes me want to orgasmic on buying a chocolate and eating it. Seriously, orgasmic. So. That's an eight. Yeah. Excuse me. <clears throat> Tom and Jerry? I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is not an officially licensed Tom and Jerry commercial. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. Targeting the real audience. It's the kids that purchase the appliances. It's a good thing they put these, like, cartoon Dang. characters in here. That's a three. Yeah, I don't think. Mom, we're thirsty! Well, I've got two glasses of Sunfizz coming right up. Sunfizz! I remember this commercial! I remember this one! Oh my goodness! Wow, talk about a blast from the past. Continuing? That's our favorite! That's because there's a delicious ray of sunshine in every drop! Ah! <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Only a commercial with some like realistic writing. Clearly, this yeah. is how real people would act if something like this happened. Yeah, even the dog took off. <laughs> Trust your gut, not some cartoon character. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. 
That is great. I don't really have anything to say about that. I that was just a great commercial. That was probably. Yeah, I remember when Sprite used to do commercials like these. Just, uh, especially the one with the wrestler staying in it and whatnot. Just, uh, uh the the Make Your Wish Foundation where you could wrestle the real Sting and everything. Just, oh my goodness, commercials were wild back then. <laughs> And this was definitely wild, seriously. <laughs> anyway, continuing. Uh, More funny than curse, but yeah. That's that's a seven. Yeah, seven. <laughs> whoa, wait, 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 wait! I remember this commercial too. Butt heads. The the figures with butts on their heads just. Why? 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 So, it's an action figure with a butt on its head. Every time you squeeze squeeze them, they make fart sounds. I don't understand why this was a trendy thing. Holy crap. Is this real? Butt heads, their heads are butts. They put a lot of thought into this toy. Kids today are so lucky. When I was growing up, we had like Beanie Babies, Cabbage Patch Kids. We didn't have awesome toys like butt heads. Their heads are butts. In battle mode, shake them up and let them rip. Wet one. Winner. Uh, <laughs> you battle them? You battle your butt heads. My like Tamagotchis? Mode for epic pranks. Honey? I'm sure that's the actual effect the toys give off. They shake the house. They fart so loud. The only thing I really don't like about this toy is it's like extremely detailed. It's pretty accurate yeah. little depiction of, you know, someone's butt or something. I'm sure yeah. owning this toy uh, won't have any sort of like future impact on the child's personal tastes. That's, uh, you know what? That's a 10. Yep. I'm giving that a 10. Seriously. I remember Silly Slammers, but that- Hello, my flower. Oh, and this commercial. I'm stuffed up and so congested. Nasonex relieves congestion and other nasal allergy symptoms. Maybe that's why 4 million nasal allergy sufferers used Nasonex last year. I'm so confused. Is this a product for bees or humans? The bee took Nasonex and now he can pollinate. I think I figured it out. This is a product for bees, clearly. That's a two. Yeah. We're back with another episode Vixen of Vixen to Brought to you by Famway. Now with the third more Pam Poo. What the returning champion? The genius hillbilly, Cletus, and Poo. Uh. Is this an actual commercial? It feels like it's a segment from like an old television program. Uh, Which car dealer in Central Florida offers the easiest financing? What? Is that your final answer? Family Auto Mart. You have credit at Family Auto Mart. These are the desperate lengths that uh, car salesmen go to to sell you a car, folks. They made this. Fam poo? Also, acting like these characters. What? Are these how they see their own customers? What? Is this their targeted audience? They want to sell cars to hillbillies, I guess. This <laughs> is very embarrassing. I don't know if you can read this, but this says that whatever this thing is you're buying includes a one autographed photo and a fan club membership. Oh, but it's free. That was pretty cursed. I'm just going to give that a 10 for the effort. 10! I mean, this is Seriously. Like into that. Wasn't necessarily for something good, but... I don't understand. I recognize the effort, at least. That's a 10. Yeah, uh... Hmm. Hmm? Uh, wow, okay, 
Okay, that's very cursed. Holy uh -huh. moly. Wow, c'est bon d'avoir une girafe dans la poche. Buy this, like, granola bar type thing and elongate your neck. That's a nine. That's a nine. Very cursed commercial. Yeah, that's, uh... Mm -hmm. What is this advertising? Oh, oh God, uh, some kind of lemonade commercial? drink or something? Why is so far apart? Why is his nose so huge? I have so many questions. Someone thought that making this character was a good idea. Someone thought that. That's a seven. Mm. Money tree. Hi, it's me, Bob. The swinging single caterpillar. I've decided to take out a personal ad in the newspaper to get a date. Here goes. Single caterpillar loves long moonlit walks on branch, eating foliage and payday loans. Call me. Oh, you think that's too much? Visit mm -hmm. Money Tree today for a payday loan. Just write us a postdated check and we'll hold it until you get paid. Money Tree, your cash solution. We've got a branch near you. Ah, uh, okay. yes. That's a business I would entrust with my finances. A business that made a commercial with someone in a caterpillar costume. I like their phone number. Money. <laughs> that's yeah. a six. Yeah. Been using the total gem for Chuck Norris. 40 years. Total gem. The reason I oh, use it I remember the commercials like works. that. Everybody work out, feel the energy. Build a better okay. body. Okay. you can be. <laughs> this is pretty cursed. Why is there like a why is there like a country song? For a in-home gym? None yeah. of these people look like they would Why listen is... to country music. Not a single one. Why is there a country music song during a Total Gym commercial? It's, ba it's basically a fitness gym and starring Chuck Norris, but why is there a country song? I don't get it. Nothing to say about the actual product. They just wanted to show people using it with terrible music playing. I wonder what Chuck Norris actually thinks about this commercial. Do you think he thinks it's a good commercial? That was just like an mm. extremely bizarre order of decisions that someone made for that commercial. That's a six. It. That's a six. Yeah, I don't get it. Now you can celebrate huh? your birthday with Peppy Roni and Sylvester Stallion at the Pizza Planet. This is what not the, the Pizza Planet I'm familiar with. What is yeah. this? What is this? For 50 per person, you'll get pizza, pop, game token. It's like in the ball pit with the kids. The oh my God. Plus a special birthday show with Peppy Roni and a visit with Sylvester Stallion and a member of the Buffalo Stallions team. Everyone at your party will receive a ticket good at any Buffalo Stallions home game too. Ten or more in your party, and the birthday person will receive an autograph. The Pizza Planet. Award. So have your best birthday ever. Next to Demi World. Planet. This looks like an older commercial. Is this the true inspiration for Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> I mean, how could I not mention that right now? Next to Demi yeah. World. <laughs> this looks like the most off-brand yeah. cursed restaurant. Yeah. Any family could eat at. Have your best birthday ever and last birthday ever. <laughs> That's a 10. I'm giving that a 10. Easily yeah. a 10. That's really cursed. Especially the mascot costumes. Well, that's going to conclude today's episode. Thank you so much for watching the first ever and even more cursed version of cursed commercials. Wait a minute. This is permanent. Well, yeah. Did you think this was like a Halloween special or something? <laughs> that this isn't a Halloween special. <laughs> nope! This was actually a new normal episode. The Halloween special's coming later this month. Not even joking, folks. See you then. Okay. Thanks, Chad! Uh, and of course, thank his Patreons and whatnot. Send your commercials to who are ha a slash curse commercials. But yeah. Ugh. I'm not gonna read the Patreons, I'm just... But, uh... Yeah, I think that's gonna do it.
Can you endure more? School says there's no room for a six-year-old. Subscribe if you dare. Well, that was Curse Commercials number 14. I, number 13, I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Ugh. But yeah, that was Chatronic. Curse commercials, number 13. And uh, some of the commercials I remember, some of them I don't. And some of them are questionable, and I'm like, what the hell? Back then, watching TV, uh, watching com uh, watching TV, especially seeing various commercials, damn, we saw some weird stuff and some questionable stuff back then. Uh, but hard to imagine some of these commercials flew right over our head, or we're looking at the net, I'm like, what the hell were we thinking? Just, ah. <laughs> uh, but regardless, though, uh, if you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more of me reacting to Chatronic's curse commercials, please leave a like in the comment section below. And leave a comment, too. Click on the subscribe button to s uh, be subscribed to my channel, and click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. For Oktoberfest, I'm trying to see if I can get more videos out and everything. Especially during the October season. It's a little rough, but I'll get there eventually. And if you want to donate to my channel to see me grow and uh, help me support and everything, click on the donation uh, uh, button at the bottom of the video in the description box below. And thank you very much for watching this episode of Leo Reacts to. I'm going to try and put out more content later on. But yeah, seriously, what the hell were we thinking back then with various commercials? I'm Leo Hightower, see you guys very much, until we meet again, peace out. Mm.